Welcome on our guest to the land of TMS. I am the Busybody Baroness, and this is a comment video from work still. It's Monday, still early. This right behind the last one I just made. Okay, let's get started. Mm -hmm. I gotta go to the grocery store when I get off work and cook dinner. So, as, like I said in the last video, as long as everything is okay with my son, I think I should be able to go live today. You know, it's really so hard to tell. Um, but at this point, like I said, he went to work today. So, usually when he's feeling good enough to go to work, then, you know, we're going to have a good day. But then I don't know because it depends on how busy and what kind of day he had at work. So, it's just hard. Um, Deborah says, Deborah D says, Lisa has gone off the track ever since she lost her daughter. Nina's not even thinking about the the big loss that Lisa has gone through. Nina's only thinking of her and Willow and trying to have a better relationship. Of course, Nina's problems will all be on Carly. And she will blame Carly for her mistake with Willow and get Lisa to do something against Carly. Yeah, I do believe Lisa and um Nina are gonna dig up some dirt about the insider trading thing. And like I said, that is gonna that's what's gonna lead to the downfall of her and Sonny's relationship. Hey, Gwen. Gwendolyn Sykes says, let's talk about Sonny and Dex. He told Joss it will be over in a few months. Yep. I believe, she says, I believe he's undercover, but it's going to backfire because of his relationship with Joss. Sonny is having him follow. Oh, Sonny may discover other things about Dex. Oops, I'm just saying, yeah. If Sonny's having Dex follow, he's going to find out that he's dealing with, has dealings with Michael and that he's messing around with Joss. And that's going to be too bad. He's going to be back in the freezer with who? Barry Goldberg. Put it in the comments. If, you know, once he finds out, it's not going to go well. But if Dex goes missing and Joss cannot find her new boo thing, oh, she's going to find him. She's going to go straight to Sonny and, and Dante and all of them. She's going to find him if he goes missing. Barbara says, I'm probably going to be labeled the most wicked hen in the hen house, but if they killed off Weeping Willow, I wouldn't shed a tear. She is so like Nagy Nina because they both come across as never-ending victims. Plus, I love to see miserable Michael get payback for being so nasty to Sonny uh, for quasi choosing Nina over his mother. Sonny wanted to be with Carly when he came back from Nixon Falls, but he committed the unforgivable sin of not publicly publicly denouncing Nina completely. Okay, now I'll I'll go sit in the far end of the chicken coop by myself. Okay. I'll come visit you because you're not alone on this. I I don't I don't think I just said it cuz I didn't feel like getting dragged in the comments. I don't care if Willow dies. Thanks Barbara, you set me free. If Willow dies, I think it'll make for a good story because then we can see why um see what Michael would do would he accept Nina's help because she would try to help with the babies and stuff like that? What would happen? Um, of course, I love Willow's character. She's adorable. She's darling. But after this, okay, let's just look towards the future. Me and Barbara in the corner in the chicken coop by ourselves. Just look at it from our point of view. So Willow, she heals. She's great. She's miraculously healed. And then what? I guess we go back and forth with her and Nina. Will she accept her? Won't she accept her? After two weeks, what are we going to do? We sick of this. Let's wrap it up. She's either going to forgive her or not. Let's kill her off. Let's kill her off like Barbara says and see what happens from there. Put it in the comments. I'm just saying. I I, I don't. I wouldn't mind. And then Michael can date. Maybe him and Sasha could get together. Ooh, that'd be good. And, 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 um, Nina fans, if uh, Michael and Sasha get back together, you know that Nina will definitely, because she loves Nina too. You know what I mean? So, you know, she'll be able to have access to the kids. Catherine Piper says, uh, maybe Dex is wanting to take down the newest merger group. I remember when Dex mentioned when he was telling Michael about the Pikeman group that he didn't, that he said they were nothing to mess around with. Like, so I don't know. He don't, it seemed like he don't even want to, you know, deal with them. Catherine Piper says, okay, BB, I was completely wrong. Ava looks like a compilation of uh, party balloons from Party City. Uh, who picked that? Terry and Trina and Portia looked fabulous. I'm going to put, if I can find it, let me see if I can find it. Um, If I can find it, I'll put a picture up of what April wore. Uh, yeah, Trina and Terry, everybody did look nice. Out of all the things that they could have put Ava in, it could have been a little bit better. And Barbara responds to you, Catherine, and says, Joss looks pretty too in her outfit. Yeah, um, Joss did look nice as well. 
Oh, yeah, and Catherine again says, so is Joss a bridesmaid? Doesn't she have any other friends? Thank you. I thought that was kind of weird that you, well, I'll take that back because if I, I honestly, it's not weird because I don't have a lot of, I don't have any outside people if not in my family. So if I did need more bridesmaid outside, bridesmaids outside of my sister's, and probably older nieces if I was going to remarry, I probably would pull in. Like, my daughter has two very close friends that they call me mom. They're precious. So, yeah, I could see that. Yeah. Because especially if you need that even number, it's like, oh, come on, let's get, you know. I would tell Tulip, I'd be like, could you call Shay and M and see if they want to put on these tap of the dresses for mom? You know, so, yeah, I could see that maybe she needed the numbers for the bridal party. Put it in the comments if y'all know what I mean. It's not necessarily she didn't have enough friends. It's just that she needs to even them numbers out. Catherine is on the road, y'all. She says again, so that pen has to be more important. So maybe Tracy or Olivia will recognize it as Lila's. Maybe the Q connection. Think about uh, think about her parents were both doctors. Alan was always a hound, <laughs> along with all male cues. And she says maybe Stella is doing her own research on DNA, and that will bring it the info to the wedding. Yes, I do believe Stella is up to something, um, doing her own digging. That's why she's not involved in the wedding. Um, Portia could be that's a good one you guys we never even thought about Portia could be a, a connection to the quarter maze. that's a good one anything is possible yes both of her parents are doctors um, that could that would make sense they never really said what connection Portia really has to poor Charles I think she's only there for work but that doesn't mean like you said Alan and them could have traveled you ain't lying about that Hey, Carolyn. Carolyn Wood says, writers, please let Will. Okay, Carolyn wants her to live. Please let Willow live and be happy. Nina will just um, just need to go away. She's not even trying to do better, just rotten to the core. I really do think Nina is trying. When she went in there to give Willow that necklace, I was kind of disappointed that Willow turned her back. I really thought, at this point, girl, you think you dying, right? So you don't want to show her any type of any compassion, like anything? She could have at least took the next, like, okay, thank you. Like, okay, I know it was nails. I know, but I just wanted her in that moment. Because Nina, when she was in the doorway, it was like, she, I wanted to push her. Like, girl, go on in there and talk to her. I kind of feel sorry for Nina, and I wish um, uh, uh, Willow would give her a break. Could Could you just, like, say something kind to her? Just... You think you're dying. Don't, if you think you're leaving this world, don't leave that on her. You know what I mean? Don't leave this world having this lady think that she is just so awful to where you couldn't muster up a kind word for her, girl. Something. I would, you know, I know it's not about Nina. I know it's about Will. I know. But my God. It probably would have made her feel better. It probably would have unburned her a little bit if she would have been like, listen, I don't want the necklace, but I want you to know I appreciate you even giving me life. Like even like you was in a coma and you still managed to bring me into this world healthy. Do you see what I'm saying? Say fucking something, girl. Don't just turn your back like a spoiled five-year-old. I'm sorry. That's just like when she told Michael, when she was like, Michael, we have to get through this. You not talking to me is not going to accomplish anything. I'm not going to be able to rest in peace if we don't talk about this. Same thing. You don't think you'll be, you think you'll be able to rest in peace if you don't resolve this with your mother and you don't have that much time. Love it or hate it, I think Nina do deserve something, some kind of a hug. Hold her hand. Like, do y'all see what I'm saying? I can't imagine. I really felt for Nina in that moment. Sandy Moon says everybody at that hospital needs to be tested instead of gossiping. I hope Portia's father stays around. Nice eye candy for those of us of a certain age. I can see Stella or Jordan stopping the wedding. Well, we saw that Jordan stepped in there and was like, do you really want to go through with this? You still want to play this game? I can't believe Jordan showed up. I would have just let it play out at this point, Jordan. If I was Jordan, I wouldn't have. I'd have went somewhere and got me a drink and just let it play out because she knows it's all going to blow up eventually. Penny says, I think Lisa is the key to Willow's survival. Carly did get tested, dig up nail, and use her bone marrow. Still good. I don't think you can do that. <laughs> and she concludes and says, this is a soap. Yeah, anything is possible. That is true.
But we'll see. I think Lisa was going to be her match like you guys were saying. Penny is back and says, Elizabeth is trying to uh, be a martyr. Yeah, it's bordering on ridiculous. Why throw yourself under the bus for Nicholas? I agree. And Catherine does too. Catherine says, agree. Um, agree. Your kids come first. Always let the law help you. So she's willing to let them... Um, come and manage her kid cam manage her kids that pisses me off yeah at this point i think the writers are just giving elizabeth something to do i do i think they just don't have anything else for her character right now um they killed pretend killed nicholas off and they really just need to keep her involved in this in some kind of way so they got to figure out a way to keep trouble going so elizabeth will be the key but at the end of the day don't be a fool elizabeth you're stupid i wouldn't turn myself so what Listen, if Esme come up and she remembers something, she crazy. I didn't. What are you talking about? You, your, your memory is broken. Even if she does get her memory back, prove it. Prove it. Ava knows the truth about what went on in the North Tower. I would go to Ava like, listen, I need you to make sure, sure. Okay? That they don't find anything. Me and Dimitri is already cleaned up and painted in there. They already didn't find. All stupid uh, Dante know is that... Um, he smelled fresh paint. So what? They rich. They paint every other month. It was a smudge on the wall. What you going to do? So I'm just saying, like, if I was Elizabeth, I would go to Ava and be like, can you just please make sure that none of this comes back on me? And if Esme ever does get her memory back, honestly, Finn is a doctor. I would talk to him and she's a nurse. So she knows she's remembering it wrong. She's probably putting it together for him when I used to visit Windermere from before the incident. Do you see what I'm saying? It's always a way. Prove it. If you can't prove it, shut up. You got bigger problems. Where your baby daddy at? Put it in the comments. She's yeah, I agree. It's ridiculous at this point. Um, this is a whole conversation, you guys. The gen hands are all Penny started it. It started off with Penny, and then now Earl is getting involved. Earl Cocker says somebody got mad at me when I call her a skank. <laughs> Or who the hell did you call a skank? <laughs> who, Esme? Who did you call a skank? Because Barbara says she laughing at you. Um, Wait, let me go back. Oh, Joss. Oh, wait, I skipped something. Okay, wait, I'm sorry. I skipped one. Okay. So after we all agree that Elizabeth is being annoying, Penny comes back and responds to Barbara after Barbara laughs and Penny says, at Catherine, yeah, that poor kid has enough to deal with after that skanky Joss put him through. <laughs> put him through. He's a good, upstanding kid and Elizabeth isn't using her brain in regards to Cameron. And Barbara responds and says, at Penny Weston, I thought I was the only wicked hen in the hen house, skanky jaws. And that's when Earl Cogga says somebody got mad at him when he called her a skank. <laughs> Not skanky jaws. I don't know if I could put that on a shirt. Okay, Deborah J says, sorry, y'all. He did say that he would wear Deborah. <laughs> it's okay, Deborah. She says, sorry, y'all. He did say that he wouldn't wear it. Um, but being me the last time he was playing Jeffrey, I hope he's uh, here for Brad. You know, Brad was in the scene looking thirsty. Yeah, me, me, me. I put them together, wishful thinking, because he played his part as Jeffrey. Oh, okay, I see what you're saying. Well, that's okay, because let's see, he, they might put him with Jordan. They could put him with somebody we least expect. Who knows? He could even end up with Elizabeth. Um, the father could end up with Alexis. Like, you never know. Anna, Mike, you know how Anna is. Anna gets, <laughs> yeah, Anna gets her to Valentine two months after they get back. Ms. Maxwell says, um, um, I don't understand why Joss hasn't gotten tested. She's got some of Nell's DNA in her body. That's true, but maybe she can't go through with the procedure because she's a transplant recipient. You know, I don't think a lot of those people can really donate and, you know, because it's risky for them as well. All right, you guys, Ms. Maxwell is going to close us out. I'm going to go ahead and get this out to you. Thanks for listening to me, Jen Hands. Please leave a like before you leave, and I'll catch you in the comments. <laughs>